different term map. Drop one of the other
normal way. And now, let us make this evening more interesting. We shall now test how witty our candidates are. This is the question and answer portion. But before that, may we ask our equally stunning ladies to proceed at the backstage. Go breathe those edginess out first. So we could have the male candidates in the wheat portion. For this portion, our candidates shall pick an envelope that contains a question. They may pick from either those that Miss Kara G are holding or these that I am holding. Our candidate may answer the question either in English or in Philippine. This question and answer portion has a corresponding 25 points in the selection of major titles. Are our male candidates ready? Alright, we heard their yeses. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us have candidate number one. Thank you for that beautiful question, sir. Being a student or being a man, which is the one who hear those things which is not appropriate in your ears, I would like my reaction and that is it's too shameful on me. It means like I am the I am the one which is who's saying it. And even even someone is sick, even someone or even the other one who told this, it means it 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 means that he's saying 
that I am the one who is saying that to him. That's why I feel ashamed to him and myself. And I thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number two. Now let us welcome male candidate number three. Okay, candidate number three, here's the question you picked. Freedom of expression is a basic human right. The question is, where do we draw the line on free expression? I repeat, freedom of expression is a basic human right. The question is, where do we draw the line on free expression? Would you want me to read it for the Filipino translation? Okay. Ang kalayaan sa pagsasalita ay isang pangunahing karapatang pantao. Saan tayo gumuhit ng, ng linya sa malayang pagpapahayan? I repeat, ang kalayaan sa pagsasalita ay isang pangunahing karapatang pantao. Saan tayo gumuhit ng linya sa malayang pagpapahayan? Thank you, Madam, for that wonderful question. Before I will answer that question, I would like to greet everyone a blessed evening. For me, being freedom is showing what, showing actually who you are, and don't. For me, freedom is to show everyone what you can do and show you through color. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number three. Now we welcome on the, on the center stage, candidate number four. Where would you like to pick your envelope? Filipino, 
Ang terminong marites o ang pangalan ng marites ay ginagamit bilang tawag sa mga taong chismosa. Paano ka makakatulong upang mabuksa ang negatibong konotasyon sa pangalan marites? Makakatulong ako upang mabuksa ang negatibong konotasyon sa pangalan sa pangalan malites pangamagitan ng hindi pagkamit sa, sa konotasyon ito ng madalas upang hindi mas lalong hindi magamit ng matababata at ng iba pa upang hindi ito maikalan sa iba ilanang ko. Thank you. Here is your question. What do you believe is the greatest challenge the Philippines is facing today and why? I repeat. What do you believe is the greatest challenge the Philippines is facing today and why? Shall I read it in its full presentation? No, thank you. Our country, or the word brother, was being hit by the Marxist pandemic which the COVID-19. In the span of more than two years, it arises me to have As a student of Fugawa State University, I have experienced mental health issues like stress due to the situation that we are facing. Lockdowns are there, no gathering, and there's no face-to-face classes. But this life experience never stopped me from pursuing my dreams in life. I have strived at my best and still bring out the best on me by knowing my principles to be followed. And then, uh, thank you. The first set! Go, Pacha! Our female candidates. Say no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We now go last stage and the last for a while. Our ladies. Bully na talaga. Para magwala. Tala kayo. Ada mo rin ba din siya? 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 The envelopes that I'm holding for the envelopes that Miss Kara J is holding. Alright! I think we're going to have a new one. Nice set! She's so happy here. Thank you. Sana all mangaroda. In fairness, ang bully, no? Bully niyo. Running for some loud, eh? Oh my God! Okay, candidate number one. What has been your biggest disappointment today? If there is one, and how did you overcome it? I repeat. What has been your biggest disappointment today? Slate, kung kung nadamotan. Title, kung kung nadamotan. Shall I read it? Don't tangset ko na ni Tonyang. Thank you for that wonderful question. Good evening to all of us, and I would just like to get this opportunity to thank all of you from different campuses who really went out their way, way to come and support us. Thank you so much. I believe all of us have a fair share of disappointments, and I too has one, and it is that I failed to love my parents as how they love me. Because before, I grew up without my mother because she went far away to teach. And I wasn't able to give the love that they deserved because we were far away. But then now that we are together, I was able to give back to them through joining this competition through achieving and through loving them. I thank you. Thank you, candidate number one. We have we also welcome on the center stage, female candidate number two. We side stage, ba? Where would you like to put your envelope? Here is your question. How does 
biased media affect society with regard to the information and news broadcast? Again, how does biased media affect society with regard to the information and news broadcast? Do you want me to read it in its Filipino translation? So thank you, sir, for that wonderful question. Um, for me, when we say um, using social media, yes, parang nasa sa atin na kasi yun eh. Pag sinabi ng social media, parang disiplina natin sa paggamit ng social media. Kung ako, kung ako, para maging fair ang bias is kung may mga issues na fake, unang-unang titignan ko yung resources kung talagang uh, kung talagang um, um, kung talagang strength yun or for example like um, uh, sa mga uh, may psycho encyclopedias kanon sa mga sa mga sources na talagang um, naka-prove na totoo eh hindi hindi basta maniniwala sa mga uh, bias kasi pag sinabi kasi sa social media marami pa tutunguhan patutunguhan yan pero pwede kang pumunta ka sa masama pwede kang gamitin mo ng masama pwede kang gamitin mo sa education mo pwede kang gamitin mo din para makasira ng ibang tao so as for me as a student ginagamit ko yun para um, para to gain and to learn more sa na na related sa course or related sa studies or related sa um, related sa studies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Female candidate number two. And now let us welcome on the center stage candidate number three. So here is your question, candidate number three. The Philippines has the second highest teenage pregnancy rate in Southeast Asia. Do you think it is necessary to include sex education in our educational curriculum? Why or why not? I repeat, the Philippines has the second highest teenage pregnancy rate in Southeast Asia. Do you think it is necessary to include sex education in our educational curriculum? Why or why not? Ang ating bansang Pilipinas ay pangalawa sa may pinakamataas na teenage pregnancy rate sa South Number 4 and number 6 yata ang pot siya. Ang kailangan idagdag ang sex education five and six. Five and six sa educational curriculum. Bakit o bakit hindi? 5 and 6 sa girls. I believe that the, the, that sex education should be included in our educational educational curriculum so that the students will be enlightened about what is sex education and so that they will be disciplined they have to discipline themselves to eradicate to eradicate no, teenage pregnancy thank you thank you very much female candidate number three now we welcome Female candidate number four. Please speak your question. Here is your question. Do you think the youth of today faces more pressure of academic performance than the previous generation? Why or why not? I repeat, do you think the youth of today faces more pressure of academic performance than the previous generation? Why or why not? Shall I read it in its Filipino translation? Sa tingin mo ba ay nakaharap sa mas matinding pressure sa academic performance ng mga sila? Kaysa sa mga kabataan ng nagdaan generation. Today's generation has all the resources and the things that they need to learn. And today's generation does not face the hardship as for the last past generation. Because today, all the resources have been provided through social media. Because I believe 
that social media is a strong platform to, to provide facts and other opinions. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number four. And now we welcome on center stage, the candidate number five. Pacha Campus na po. The last question on my hand. As a millennial, it's two one. How do you use the opportunities of your time to uphold excellence and achieve global competence? Once again, as a millennial, it's two one. How do you use the opportunities of your time to uphold excellence and achieve global competence? Would you like me to read it in its Filipino translation? To be a global competi globally competitive, I, I must know myself first. I need to know my strength, weaknesses, skills, and ability so that Another Thank candidate you. for Prof. Chia Campus po. Candidate number six, here's your question. Today we are celebrating World Mental Health Day. How do you maintain sound mental health? I repeat, today we are celebrating the World Mental Health Day. How do you maintain sound mental health? So first of all, good evening to everyone of us. So today we are celebrating World Mental Health. So as a student, I will maintain the sound mental health by doing a good influence by each other and always use the 4-H that which is the head to think, the heart to feel, the health to care and the and the hand to act and always remember that in the article three section one. Tikpo, wala pa hindi pa nga tapos eh. No person can be deprived of life, liberty, and poverty. And justice. The process of food and, and no two learners will left behind. And I thank you. Thank you, candidate number six. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our beautiful ladies and gentlemen. In their QA. Well, it's indeed a job well done, candidates. I know everybody now has more or less a clue about who really made it. So before we go further, may we once again, welcome our male candidates on stage. We still have to keep you waiting as our board of judges thoroughly evaluate our candidates to come up with a very good result this evening. Since our candidates did a very good job, it is high time to give them an award. Let us start with the special award The People's Choice Award. Last Saturday, we uploaded the 
pictures of our candidates, not only to present them through social media, but also to know the pulse of the people. Thus, we give the People's Choice Award. The People's, People's Choice Award is given to candidates who got the highest number of heart reactions in their picture. To present the award for the People's Choice, May we call Nicole to the winning candidates and the director of the Social Cultural Department. The People's Choice Awardees will receive a sash. For male category, the People's Choice Award goes to candidate number to candidate number one. Nakakot na word ng one ah Congratulations candidates And now it is also time To award one of the major awards The next award Has a 50 point bearing in the selection of major titles that is best in formal attire. The best in formal attire award is given to candidates who have exuded elegance and charm in wearing these ethnic inspired formal attire. Pakita kay Bill pag ano, pag hindi pa inaantok ang person. Siya <laughs> kung kaya palang data. Nakadata lang tayo. For male category, our best in formal attire is candidate number. It's candidate number one. Mare ore kayat ka yung baybayan no naubusan tayo day tawanan Best and formal attire daw ang number one And As we all have heard their answers We now have the results for the Mr. and Miss Wick uh, Mr. and Miss Wick na mga mare to present the award for Mr. and Miss Witt, may we call in the coach of the winning candidates and the director of the Southern Number Coast one is Lamut Campos. Mr. and Miss Witt will receive a sash. What do you think is our Mr. Witt? Ay? Ang may basol kaya na may busanak data. Kunada, was karugat nagbuya. Hindi ba katotohan? 
<laughs> Ano kayo? Oh, di ba? Gusto nyo di ba matuloy? Eh, kaso na, nalagwak sa Miss Whip Ay, sa Mr. Whip Lamot Campus ang number one You may now relax backstage And round of applause for our candidates Ay, magpa backstage na pa ilang Buubos na date ako <laughs> Hindi po namin alam kung ano nangyari sa Mr. Witt. So we are very grateful that we are able to conduct this search for Mr. and Ms. Ipsy once again. Hindi po natin alam kung may cooking show. Pocha po ang handle ng system. So, nakasystem po sila. Walang cooking show. Mr. J. Bart F. Gunn. There's no need in the world than just to make sure you may. Si former Mr. Ipso Outgoing guy Ay, what's on that? Close mo guy yan Close mo guy yan Close mo guy yan Ay, on Change Kano? Kano? May chance Mara, may chance. Kuna ni Mam Grace, no comment tak kami tanya on. Ay, ulitin ko lang po, wala pong cooking show. Nakasystem po sila. Nakakomputer po, kaya walang cooking show. Kang <laughs> Piman na cooking show, Tani Sir Tamargo Piman tinakahandel. Sugar. Baka sure we got me. Do you want to ask me? 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 For her final walk. Isu na, isu ba first runner up sir? Di ko. Ni par puro puro isu lamut mat. Asa na pinto sila pa na tol ba? Hindi naman mga ipso chucho ang ano judges so we don't know <laughs> yeah yeah matulak matgamin niya kwa cooking show kasi epek yung summer 6 tapos biglang 1 kasi lang naka, kasi 6 lang nakasagot ng maayos so nga medyo uh, may doubt ng cooking show pero wala naman Uh, one po ang nanalo sa popularity yung pinost nila sa Facebook number one ang nanalo 
Book 1, Mr. Edmonds. You encourage and strengthen me more than you will ever know. To my family, thank you Ay, for always going the extra mile. Tabulator is tabulator. Thank you to my department. Wait tayo ang mo. Hindi tayo, no. Especially to my considerate and supportive. Basta isulat tante asyong tayo. No cooking show. Especially to my friends. To be safe. Ate Kim, Ate Young, Amarin, Reina, and even the Taya team for your love cheers during that night. Opo, yung mga ano po, yung mga nag, baka yung sa Pocha is nag-like dun sa ano lang, sa DSSD page. So medyo dapat nag-like tayo dun sa Ipsu page para siguradong nabilang ang like. Apa? Kada mo na betan mara? Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And despite those sleepless and tiring days, you are always there at my back to support me. To Sir Don, Sir Mimo, and Mom Peria, thank say. you for your encouragement and cheers. To my CC Special mention to Sir Don. Thank you so much. And to those people who are behind the success, no one can express my gratitude and appreciation for all your efforts. Above all, thank you God for all the miracles that happened during that time. I am so happy that 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 I am don't blink because it truly goes by just too fast. As my time as Miss Enzo Intersat comes to an end, I am filled with gratitude, joy, yes, and peace. Yes, ma'am, Bea, may sa post ng Although IPSU, sa mismong IPSU page. They should have liked the Ipago State University page. Thank you very much for the opportunities and lessons. Again, if I'm not mistaken. Again, Renamay Prieto at Aula, your Miss Intersat IPSU 2019. Maraming salamat and have you to Ipago State University. Hindi natin alam at Kuya Eko. Ba't nga rin kami napapaisip eh. Again, congratulations and good luck on your next journey. How about a round of applause for our Mr. and Ms. Ipsu 2019. Wala pa naman. Kailangan mag-ingay. Sayang din talaga data ko. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much to our Mr. and Ms. Isu 2019. And at this point, we will lend our ears to Ms. Nani Vig A. Kawilan, the Director of Social Cultural Department for her words 
of gratitude. Help me welcome her with a warm round of applause. <laughs> Thank you for your two wonderful MCs for tonight's activity or event. Energy check! Huh? Another energy check! Very good! Until now, they are all alert. Okay. Um, Good, after, uh, good evening everyone, all I could say is that we are going to relate to the quote by uh, John F. Kennedy. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. So in short, this activity or event it's not, or it's not possible without all of you who supported this and of course from the start, from the organizing to the coordination to the preparation of everything, I would like to acknowledge or we would like to acknowledge and say thank you very much, especially to those runners, handlers, and everyone who contributed to our successful social cultural affairs or events for this one day. One day. And of course, may we also give or may we also acknowledge our overall organizer, Dr. Don Abaya, for being so talented that everything went well. And of course, to the one who supported him also, and everyone, especially to our tabulators, and thank you to Dean Joanne Dokulan for allowing her staff to be with us tonight from the preparation of the system, of course, and of course, our BLPCC officers, our USSG, our RLPC, our sports league, uh, leaders, led by uh, Vincent Ayamo, and of course our partner, so uh, sport development, and of course, <laughs> of course our invited special or very important people for tonight's activity, <laughs> our dear judges. Thank you very much for uh, spending your time with us for being here, for sacrificing your little time to, uh, of course, to test also your uh, how Sige, day, uh, ko you yan, uh, sa employees to night. the best. <laughs> and of course, ano pa pong masasabi ko? Our dear uh, uh, campus executive directors from the different campuses, and of course, to our social cultural coordinators, from Tino Campos, and at our uh, true Miss May Ann Kalyain, to Miss Marifay Konkoy, our social coordinator <laughs> of Aguinaldo, our social coordinator <laughs> of Lagawe, Mr. Dino, our social coordinator of Asel, Kapao, uh, Sir Johnny Kuman. <laughs> Our social coordinator, overall social coordinator for the intercampus of Maine, Mr. Edjo Ramos. Thank you very much. Hindi ka lang naging runner. Marami kang nagawa, sir, for this uh, activity. Thank you very much. And of course, our my staff also, Michelle. Our Kutak, who stayed with us even at the wee hours. And of course, sino pa po yung hindi nabanggit? Lahat-lahat kayo na nag-support sa ating, uh, of course, as you all know, this is our very our first time to handle such. Meaning, uh, you are new director for social cultural affairs. 
I am very much overwhelmed and uh, uh, very much challenged to such um, responsibility. I believe um. <laughs> we could give do or we could do better next year as we all learn from this first experience. Again, And of course, on behalf of Ibungao State University, let's not forget our dear, our very own President, Eva Marie Kodamon Dugyun, for her full support, for always there for us. <laughs> okay. And, and of course, course our own <laughs> mighty <laughs> stress who is with us always. Wala na akong masasabi. But to say, Hakiyo everyone! See you again next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Daddy, for spearheading this beautiful social cultural event. <laughs> May we now call back on stage so our 12 together. beautiful and handsome candidates. Oh, back to the stage na daw sila. Pagsaan nyo, kararan nyo, mag-title po siya. <laughs> I think it is high time for us to reveal the winners for Mr. and Miss Ixu 2022. Are you ready, Ixuan community? Are you ready? There we go. Still, our audience is alive and kicking and excited to know Yes, and I'm also very excited, and I think our candidates are very prepared and excited as well. So let us not keep everyone waiting. Let us start with our Mr. and Miss Ipsu 2022 second runner-up. To present the award for Mr. and Miss Ipsu 2022 second runner-up, May we call on stage two of our judges, Mr. Clarence Marrero and Mr. Kenny Monayao. Mr. and Ms. Isu 2022 second runners up will receive a sash and a trophy. Second runner up is candidate number six. Title number one. Ah. Hindi na data ang kalaban natin. Battery ko. <laughs> Nag-warning na. <laughs> Congratulations, Catherine. Pasok sa top 3. Ang number 6. 
the moment of truth. Ayan. Oh. We shall now be announcing the first runner-ups. The role of the first runner-up is very important because in case our title holders, Mr. and Ms. Gibson 2022, do not fulfill their obligations and responsibilities. And when unavoidable circumstances happen, in which they relinquish their crown, our first runners up will take all the responsibilities and all the obligations that our title holders have to fulfill. To present the award for Mr. and Ms. Ipsu 2022 first runners up, may we call on stage Mr. Sylvester Lalan and Attorney Karen Joy Matakas yes, and Number 40, Mr. and Ms. Ipsu 2022 first runners up will receive a sash and Did a I prepared. <laughs> wala akong bala kung bala kung munta actually. <laughs> our Mr. Ipsu 2022 first runner up is candidate number. First runner up is candidate number four. Four. Oh, yes. First runner up of what chat? the runner ups. And our is runner up. Four. <laughs> Agawit tayan! Wag nyo na talaga pagantayin <laughs> Alas Jason <laughs> a crown and a trophy. Give it back to the parents of candidate number one. Campos. 
remote story ya gawit tayon Thank you so much. Bye.